Thank you, Deputy Speaker. My adjournment matter is for the Minister for Housing. The action I seek is that the Minister provide the latest update on the Victorian Government's Harvest Square Big Housing Build project, which is currently under construction in Brunswick West in my electorate. Speaker, as, Deputy Speaker, as I said in my first speech, I am committed to working every day to help make our community a better and fairer place to live, learn, work and to raise a family and retire in. However, fundamental in striving towards this socially just vision for my community is to help ensure that people of all ages and backgrounds across Pascavale, Coburg and Brunswick West have access to safe, secure and affordable housing. We know there's no more important issue anywhere in the state right now than housing. Whether it be first home buyers, families, young people, retirees and renters, or whether it be people experiencing housing stress or homelessness, every Victorian deserves a safe place to live with access to housing being the very foundations for people to live uh, better lives. In this respect, I am proud to be part of an Andrews Labor government that continues to take real action when it comes to lifting and improving housing supply and standards through a number of initiatives, including the $5.3 billion Big Housing Build program, which is delivering a pipeline of 12,000 new social and affordable homes, an uplift of at least 10 per cent in new social dwellings and 2,400 new affordable homes, and the government's previously introduced rental fairness package, which cracked down on rental bidding, improved property standards, helped tenants stay on longer leases and limited rental increases to once a year to give renters more financial stability. Spe Deputy Speaker, in my community, I am particularly proud of the landmark $86 million Harvest Square housing project in Brunswick West, which is being constructed yeah. as part of Labor's big housing build and which will deliver new homes for those who need them most. Harvest Square is being delivered in partnership with Homes Victoria, AV Jennings and Women's Housing Limited and will create a total number of 198 new modern, sustainable and high quality one, two and three bedroom homes in the inner north. The development is to consist of 119 new social and community housing homes. 111 of these homes will be new social housing apartments that will be Homes Victoria dwellings. Eight of these will be community housing homes that will be dwellings operated by Women's Housing Limited as well as 79 new market homes with the provision made for 10% of market homes to be released to first home buyers housing. While 5% of the development will include provision for Disability Discrimination Act 1992 fully accessible homes. Deputy Speaker, the new Harvest Square is replacing the former Grand Place, which consists, consisted of 82 no longer fit for purpose dwellings, with 119 new world-class social housing homes, a 45% increase in new homes on that site for social homes. Harvest Square will add much needed new high quality housing supply in Melbourne's northern suburbs while creating a well integrated community that is close to public transport, schools, retail precincts and jobs with Harvest Square to create a new sustainable corridor through Brunswick West that will connect Albion Street through to Dunstan Reserve. The Harvest Square project is supporting a massive 770 jobs with construction of Harvest Square social housing and market apartment stage of the project having commenced in early 2022 with the social housing stage on track to be completed by late 2024. Deputy Speaker, the Brunswick West community would greatly appreciate the Minister's latest update so I can share it with my residents. Yeah.